Welcome to Utah State University's Vertebrate Paleontology course. My name is Benjamin Berger, and in this lecture we will examine the question, why are there so many marsupials in Australia? There are about 334 species of living marsupials, with 14 species in North America, 86 species in South America, but a whopping 234 species of marsupials in Australia. How come Australia gets all these marsupials? And here, here in the United States, we just get one species, the Virginia possum. Marsupials arose during the Mesozoic at a time when there were land bridges between the various continents. The earliest marsupial, marsupials are known in China during the early Cretaceous. Eutherian or placental mammals had yet to arrive. During the early to middle uh, Cretaceous, marsupials found themselves on every continent, leaping from one continent to another continent. However, by the time the late uh, Cretaceous rolled around, a number of continents had drifted away from each other. South America had become an isolated continent, as well as Australia, which was drifting north of Antarctica. This made it difficult for the late arriving placental mammals to get to all of these continents. In South America, a few groups of late Cretaceous and early Paleocene Eutherian mammals made it there, and they evolve into these bizarre array of South American ungulates and xenarthrans. But the marsupials were one of the dominant groups in the Cenozoic of South America. These groups could not cross into Antarctica, and none of it made it over to Australia during the late Cretaceous. Hence, Australia basically only contained marsupial mammals, which had colonized the continent from before the late Cretaceous. This isolation led to the success of marsupials on Australia, into the mammals that we love today, such as kangaroos and koalas and wombats. This is not to say that marsupials are inferior to placental mammals, as many marsupials in North and South America have lived alongside placental mammals and have survived on the two continents for, for millions of years. Marsupials in Australia had a benefit of evolving in isolation, which means that these bizarre differences, such as a hopping large herbivore, the kangaroo, could fulfill the niche that deer fill in the rest of the world. Evolution is played out differently when groups become isolated from one another and follow unique trajectories unique to their local geography and history. All right, be sure to relate the prevalence of marsupials from Australia and South America to the isolation of these continents during the late Cretaceous and Cenozoic. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to learn more about the Utah State University's geology program, check out the website geology.usu.edu or my own website at benjamin Links are found in the description below.